All right, racing fans, Superfector carryover race four here of $1,619.78. Superfector carryover, $1,619.78. So we're getting set for the Dixie Crackers Champagne Stakes here, Grade 3 event. Could be history in the making here with Superbird. He's at odds of 2-1, to one, looking to make it three years in a row. What a story that would be. We'll find out shortly. Princess Aruna just walked in. The last one will be in the headlines. Let's take a quick look at the odds while we await uh, the four-year-old Chestnut Philly to take her position. Leonardo Angel is at 22 to 1, 16 to 1 on Marvel Vigor, 5 to 1 on In the Headlines, 2 to 1 on Superbird, 6 to 5 betting favorite is Hello World, 8 to 5 on Princess Aruna. This race beginning the late daily double here, races 4 into 5. Gate handlers about to bring forward the chestnut filly, four years of age. In the headlines with some encouragement is going in now. Veteran Ricky Jadu on board. Just to get her settled down and we look to be ready now for the grade three Dixie Crackers Champagne Stakes. Good luck racing fans in all of your selections. There's the red light and there they go. And the defending champion. What an awful start. Superbird just walked out of the starting gate. That's going to change the complexion of this event. Him being the speed, but it's in the headlines. Who goes out for the early lead? Marvel Vigor racing in second. Leonardo Angel is in third spot. Just ahead of Princess Aruna. Hello World is right there keeping his stable mate in contention. And the trailer is Superbird after that very, very poor start. As they make their way to towards the back stretch and in the headlines is well off the rail and uh, she is the leader marvel vigor keeping her tabs in second spot there then two lengths back racing in third spot is leonardo angel after leonardo angel finds princess aruna in fourth spot hello world is right there in fifth and the trailer continues to be super bird as they race up towards the back stretch here on a very firm two of course in the headlines continues to lead the pack marvel vigor is buying his time in second spot and then comes hello world in third leonardo angel is right there princess aruna eyes them and Superbird is tailing off there he is at the back of the pack as they go towards the far turn and marvel vigor and in the headlines that's the top two princess aruna is given her cue by omar and here she comes three wide hello world is racing in fourth spot then comes leonardo angel Superbird has a mountain to climb they're getting ready to come to the top of the stretch in the champagne and marvel vigor brings them in the headlines is battling away hello world is coming up the rail then comes leonardo angel princess aruna is one pacing now inside the final 200 meters and hello world has taken over on the inside princess aruna is coming on but hello world is coming right away and hello world adds the champagne sticks with a victory princess aruna was second marvel vigor third and leonardo angel finished in fourth The running time was 138.60, 138.60. is the running time.
Ladies and gentlemen, let's welcome back into the winner's circle, winner of the grade three Dixie Crackers Champagne Stakes, fourth race winner number five, Hello World. He's a four-year-old Dark Bay Colt by 10 Maropa out of Grand River by a great team. Hello World is owned by the Poon Tip Stud Farm Limited, trained by John O'Brien. Second winner on the afternoon for champion jockey Brian Budram Singh. Remember, Budi got things going this morning with the Hummingbird earlier today and now another win on the program for him, the winning groom Eddie Mahabir. Hello World was bred by the owner, Puntip Stud Farm Limited at the Puntip Stud Farm in Santa Cruz. Number six, Princess Aruna was second. Number two, Marvel Vigor third. Number one, Leonardo Angel finished in fourth. Five, six, two, and one. The running time was 138.60. All right, time now for the presentation in the winner's circle for the presentation of the Champagne Stakes sponsored by Dixie Crackers. We welcome the CEO at the Arima Race Club, Mr. Derek DeCaries, presenting the Champagne Stakes trophy to Mr. Neil Poontip, representing the Poontip Stud Farm Limited, owner of Hello World, winner of the Grade 3 Dixie Crackers Champagne Stakes. Also in that picture taking is champion jockey Brian Boudram Singh, your winning rider. So we also have special prizes, Mr. DeCarries. We have special prizes for the owner, trainer, jockey, and groom from Bermudez. Courtesy Bermudez, the winning owner, the winning trainer, the winning jockey, and the winning groom will receive a prize courtesy Bermudez. Champagne Stakes declared official. And here are the payouts. Hello World pays $2.20 to win, 115 to place, 120 on Princess Aruna for second. Remember, Marvel Vigor finished in third. The one dollar exactor, even five dollars for the combination of Hello World, Princess Aruna. The trifecta with Marvel Vigor finishing third, $69.10. The superfecta with Leonardo Angel completing that super. $274.65. The time was 138.60. Up next is our fifth and final race here at Santa Rosa. Scratch number five, Comandante. Scratch number six, Red Alert. Post time for the Crix event at 4.45 and 26 minutes.
All right, racing fans, time now for another lucky punter draw, courtesy Racing TNT. Once again, in our upcoming fifth race, scratch number five, Commandante, and scratch number six, Red Alert. Tote board reflecting such. 25 minutes in which to invest with high five wagering. Remember, there's a carryover in the high five of $3,642.80. Racing fans reminding you our next day of live racing will be on Saturday, April the 27th, which will be race day number four. So make plans to join us on Saturday, the 27th of April for race day number four. All things being equal that day, we will be simulcasting opening day at Woodbine. All right, we're going to draw now for the lucky punter draw. One name. Meantime, Simon Cast fans, don't forget still to come the Grade 1 Florida Derby at Gulfstream Park. You want to stick around and watch and wager with us, watch the Florida Derby. Post time for the Florida Derby is at 6.45. Next week, Saturday, we'll have simulcasting from the Great Race Place at Santa Anita featuring the Grade 1 Santa Anita Derby. Remember, all these are points races towards the Kentucky Derby, which is about six weeks up. All right, we're going to draw the name now for the lucky punter draw. All right, the box is being shaken. All right. The hand is down. A ticket is picked. Oh, Carl Rampasad. Yes, Mr. Carl Rampasad, you see? second time's the charm you weren't able to receive your prize earlier because you were a little late but easter has come early for you congratulations to mr carl rampasad the winner of the lucky punter draw thank you to racing tnt
All right, racing fans, with the compliments of Bermudez, we're going to have one special draw courtesy our title sponsors, Bermudez Biscuit Company Limited. We're going to pull one name and one name and just one hamper there will be given to the winner. And the winner is Kim Suku. Kim Suku, walk with your ID and come on down to the winner's enclosure. You have received the Bermudez hamper courtesy Bermudez Biscuit Company Limited. Kim Suku, come on down to the winner's enclosure to receive your Bermudez hamper. And with the compliments of Bermudez, the winning owner, Poontip Stud Farm Limited, the winning trainer, John O'Brien, the winning jockey brian budram singh and the winning groom eddie mahabir you will all receive the remaining bermudez hampers on that table i'll be bringing it shortly for you so congratulations to the owner trainer jockey and groom combining to win the dixie crackers champagne sticks And racing fans, there's Miss Kim Suku being presented with her Bermudez hamper. Congratulations to Kim Suku, our lucky punter winner on behalf of Bermudez. Post time, post time is in 18 minutes, 18 minutes with a high five carryover.
Racing fans reminding you, High Five Carryover, $3,692.40. High Five Carryover, The horses are now on the track for today's fifth and final race, the Cricks Modified Benchmark Handicap for horses rated 40 to 25 with win place exacta try, super and high five wagering. Number one is Unbelievable, owned by Paradise Farms Limited, trained by Fred DeFreitas. The jockey is Naim Samaru, plus 8.5 overweight, 56 kilos, and the number one Unbelievable is in at 10 to 1. Number two is Empress Hassan, also owned by Paradise Farms Limited, trained by Terence Thomas. Rico Hernandez riding, the weight 54 kilos. Rico wears a green cap. Empress Hassan is 6 to 1. Number three is Secret Pages, owned by Errol Stables, trained by Glenn Mendez. Dylan Kellowan riding, plus 9 kilos overweight, 56.5 kilos. And Secret Pages is in at 12 to 1. Number four is Princess Royal, owned by Raroma Stable, trained by John O'Brien. Brian Boudram Singh riding, 58.5 kilos. And Princess Royal is currently the 6-5 betting favorite. Scratch number five, Commandante. Scratch number six, Red Alert. Number seven is Alpha Centauri. Blinkers off today in the colors of Kavish Stables. Harry Singh trains. Omar Mohammed, the apprentice riding. The weight minus one, plus one, 56 kilos. Alpha Centauri, seven to two. Number eight is Little Lady, owned by Shivan Maraj and trained by Glenn Mendez. Ricardo Jadu riding, 56.5 kilos. And Little Lady is currently at 7 to 5. And on the outside, number nine is Prince Connor, owned and trained by Clyde Rambaran. Hanifi Mamali riding, plus 2.5 overweight, 58.5 kilos. And Prince Connor is in at 25 to 1. Take note, number seven, Alpha Centauri. And number nine, Prince Connor, both races with nasal strip put a nasal strip on the seven alpha centauri and the nine prince connor high five carry over three thousand six hundred ninety two dollars and forty cents win place exacta try super high five wagering here in the cricks the final event on today's five race program once again, racing fans, best of luck in all of your selections. Don't forget, following this event, we will continue simulcasting at Gulfstream Park. Currently, race 11 is in progress at Gulfstream. Still to come, the Florida Derby. And as the horses make their way down to the 1350 meter shoot on behalf of the Arima Race Club's management and staff, we'd like to thank our lead sponsor, Bermudez Biscuit Company Limited, for a great sponsored day of racing. Thank you, Bermudez, for sponsoring today's action. Also, we'd like to thank Racing TNT for their continued support in the Best Turned Out and Lucky Punter Award. We will continue this trend all season long with Racing TNT. We want to thank the entire team behind this sponsorship. And to Edmund De Freitas and Bonanza Riding School, we want to thank them for their sponsorship as well. All part of the outstanding partners contributing to the action here on race day number three.
Don't forget, racing fans, our next day of live racing, Saturday, April 27th. That's race day number four. Be sure to make plans to join us for that. Hopefully, we will have opening day action from Woodbine. High five pool approaching $4,600. Getting your wages now in this high five event with a carryover of $3,642.40. The best turned out horse for race number five is number seven, Alpha Centauri. And the groom, Marlon Manson, is about to receive his prize courtesy Racing TNT. Best turned out horse for race number five, Alpha Centauri. And now in the winner's circle for the presentation of the best turned out award, we welcome that groom, Mr. Marlon Manson, the groom of Alpha Centauri, as he's receiving his prize from the Racing TNT crew, awarded, adjudged, the best turned out horse in race five. Congratulations. Don't forget racing fans following this fifth and final race we will make one more journey down to the winner's enclosure and we will be drawing two names two names two prizes in the lucky punter draw it will be our final for the afternoon two winners after the fifth and final so make sure to put in your losing tickets into those specially marked boxes full name two winners after race five good luck High five pool approaching $7,000. This is your final chance to get some Easter money, racing fans. Final chance for some Easter money here in the high five.
So we're getting set for the final race out here at Santa Rosa Park. And we're wishing you all the best here in this high five wagering event. Just the feel of seven. And they're locked away, ready to go. Good luck, racing fans. And there they go in the Easter finale here. And slowest to leave the starting gate was unbelievable. But to the early lead, uh, let's see Alpha Centauri is out there early. Here's Princess Royal and uh, making a dash now after that slow start. Unbelievable has pulled her way to the front. Racing past the 1100 meter pole and it's unbelievable with the lead. Prince Connor racing in second spot. Alpha Centauri is third. After Alpha Centauri comes Little Lady. Then Secret Pages. Princess Royal won from last and the trailer is Empress Hassan. It's just about four lengths separating the entire field as they race past the 800 meter pole and Prince Connor has now taken the lead. Alpha Centauri racing in second spot as Little Lady is in third. Princess Royal is already getting the hurry up racing in fourth spot. Then comes Secret Pages. Unbelievable is starting to go backwards and her stable mate Empress Hassan has just passed her as they come out from the far turn. And Prince Connor is now being tackled there by Little Lady. Alpha Centauri in between runners. And these two move as a team. Prince Connor is battling away. Princess Royal is right behind the leaders. Then we come to Secret Pages. Empress Hassan, the trailer is unbelievable. Into the home stretch they come. And Princess Royal comes away with the lead on the inside. On the outside, challenging his little lady. Prince Connor is staying on. Alpha Centauri needs to find some more. But Princess Royal is coming away with the lead. Princess Royal is holding on. Then comes Prince Connor and little lady. Princess Royal, three wins for Booty this afternoon. Prince Connor was second, little lady third. It's very tight for fourth spot. Maybe secret pages over Alpha Centauri for the high five. The running time was 125.79. 125.79, the running time.
Number four, Princess Royal, the winner. Number nine, Prince Connor, second. Number eight, Little Lady, third. Number seven, Alpha Centauri, fourth. And number three, Secret Pages, completed your high five. Four, nine, eight, seven, and three. The running time, 125.79. Racing fans, don't go away. Still to come, we have three more races to bring you from Gulfstream Park. Three stakes races, including the Grade 1 Florida Derby. Post time at 6.45. So don't run away. Stick around. We have our operators standing by. We have the tellers here. And we have action from Gulfstream Park. Remember, the Florida Derby is usually brings you the Kentucky Derby winner. It has the highest percent of Kentucky Derby winners. Usually the winner of the Florida Derby usually wins the Kentucky Derby. So stick around. We have no limits on our payouts. And we have action from Gulfstream Park as well as Caymanus Park continuing after here our local card is completed. All right, racing fans, let's welcome back into the winner's circle. The winner of today's fifth and final race, the Cricks. Fifth race winner number four, Princess Royal. She's a four-year-old chestnut filly by Juve out of Always a Princess by Charismatic Cat. Princess Royal is owned by Raroma Stable, trained by John O'Brien, who gets the late daily double. And that's another hat-trick of wins for champion jockey Brian Boudram Singh. Congratulations, Booty. Three winners last race day and three more this race day. We're going to miss him. Woody will be taking his tack to Canada next month. So I want to enjoy all of his wins here as he's heading off to Hastings next month. And congratulations to him on Princess Royal, the winner of today's fifth race. Number nine, Prince Connor was second. Eight, Little Lady third. Seven, Alpha Centauri fourth. And three, Secret Page. In the high five, four, nine, eight, seven, and three. The time was 125.79. Congratulations to the entire team behind the success of Princess Royal, winner of today's final event, the Cricks Handicap. And two wins today for champion trainer John O'Brien. O'Brien gets the late daily double. Hello world, Princess Royal. The late double going to the O'Brien barn. Once again, racing fans, don't go away. Coming up next, two draws for the lucky punter. Courtesy Racing TNT. Two draws coming up next. And you want to stick around. I'm not going anywhere, so stick around. We'll all watch and wager here. Three more races to come at Gulfstream Park, including the Florida Derby. Got a post time of 6.45. That's race 14. Coming up next will be race number 12 from Gulfstream Park. We still have action from Kim Manus Park as well. So a lot of thoroughbred action here on this holiday Saturday. Once again, don't forget our next day of live racing on Saturday, the 27th of April. Be sure to join us here for race day number four. It is going to be the penultimate day before we head to the Guineas, which is carded for the 30th of May. All right, time now for our lucky punter draw. Racing fans, this is your final chance to, to win here on the Lucky Punter draw. So if you have any losing tickets, please write your full name. You can drop it on, by the winner circle box. Final chance, two more names. We're about to draw very shortly. And the stewards have now declared race number five official. And here are the payouts. 
Princess Royal, $2.30 to win, $1.40 to place, three seventy-five on Prince Connor for second. Leo O'Brien, Daily Double, a pair of fives, Hello World, Princess Royal, $1.25. Or rather, $2.35 for the double. Hello World, Princess Royal. The exacta, $24.20 for Princess Royal, Prince Connor. Consolation, daily double. Hello World, Commandante, $1.25. $1.25. High five, one thousand one hundred three dollars and eighty cents. Trifecta, ninety five dollars and ninety five cents. Once again, the late double, two dollars and thirty five cents for Hello World Princess Royal. And the exacta, twenty four dollars twenty cents. All right, time now for the draw. Once again, congratulations to all you high five winners. $1,100 in the high five. Happy Easter to you and yours. Safe journey when leaving the racetrack, but we want you to stick around. We have action from Gulfstream still to come here. Races 12, 13, and the grade one Florida Derby. All right, the racing TNT crew has made their way into the winner's enclosure. And they're about to draw two names. So we'll have two winners receiving their prize, all courtesy racing TNT. And they're going to continue this all season long. So next race day, we're going to have more lucky punter draws. So look out for that. All right, we're drawing the first name now. First winner, Cliff Eiffel. Cliff Eiffel, come on down to the winner's enclosure. Cliff Eiffel, walk with your ID. Dave Suknanan. Dave Suknanan, come on down to the winner's enclosure. Dave Suknanan, Cliff Eiffel, you are the lucky winners of the Lucky Punter Draw, courtesy Racing TNT. Once again, we want to thank Racing TNT for their sponsorship of the Best Turned Out Award as well as the Lucky Punter Draw. And again, Racing fans, you want to stick around. We have action continuing from Gulfstream Park. We have betting taking place on the ground floor, on level one, and of course, on level two. So stick around. Races 12, 13, and 14. I'm going to be sticking around myself for the Florida Derby. I like the looks of fierceness going into the Derby for Todd Pletcher and Mike Ripoli, they have been an outstanding combination. And of course, the veteran John Velasquez on board for the Florida Derby. 6.45. Stick around. We'll watch and wager together. Thank you.
pick three pay out $44.10, pick four pay out $34.80.
All right, racing fans, that was race 12 there at Gulfstream Park. 6, 9, 5, 3, and 8, unofficially race 12.